Larry, once you pull, maybe you can also go around and push. Yeah. Larry, you know, we've been trying to get him involved more in the videos over the years, and the only way to get him out from behind the drum kit was to tell him he could uh, he could play around in the shallow water with uh, with a beautiful girl. I've never ever done anything, you know, remotely like this. So Larry. Bono had to the light right you know. I was a shot. And then, you know, I was just waiting here. And when you're ready, man, I'll be there for you. She's not going to mention the big Jagger. He's such a bloody thing. I mean, I'm here. I've said to him, I'm here for him. I'll work for him. You know what I mean? The video, I don't know what it's about. We collaborated with Anton on it. You lads just talk amongst yourselves. Don't mind me. I'm fine out here, yeah. Everything's going all right, yeah. What you might be seeing um, over my right shoulder here is um, uh, Larry um, in the bath with Samantha. This is about as close as you're going to get. I'd be very surprised if it ever makes it onto the final video. Um, but they look like they're having a lot of fun. Oh, there goes the rubber duck. Just that hair, right? That, yeah, I, I wish I had it now, but it's <laughs> actually, there was a very high wind happening. Four backstage passes for access all thing. What do you want to ride in the Gulf Stream? Oh, thanks, that's very kind. But we'll have to fly commercial ourselves for to keep our own air miles up, see? There's a lot of cash in it to carry around in Reddy's lads. And the road. A lot of promoters prefer cash. Oh, this is going to charity. Comic relief. Ever heard of them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Since when? What, all of it? Uh, did I not mention that? Did you bollocks? Do Adam and Edge know about this? You don't know that, you shit. All right, guys, tough guys. Time for you to move. Let's go, come on. Say, uh, it's good cause. It's good cause. This is what broke up the rollers, you know. But I thought we were saving up to buy, um, Andorra. Give money away like that. Who's gonna pay for the cigars? Money. Just terrible things to some people. Gentlemen, actually, yes, welcome back. It's been a while since uh, we've heard some new music from you. First of all, congratulations on a nice new record. Um, the nice United... is such a little word. Wow. <laughs> Uh, on an okay album? <laughs> well, on uh, on the fact that it's not a crap album. You yeah. said the, the, the life that you oh, guys yeah. are living, yeah, you, yeah. You, you cannot put out a crap album. Uh, tell me about... Two crap albums and you're out. Is, <laughs> is, that, is that the limit? Yeah. Uh, tell me about why you... Nice albums don't work either. Uh -huh. So, okay, it's better than nice. It's a, it's right. a good album. Better than nice. Well, that leaves it open. Great album. You <laughs> <laughs> Spano, this is... What's your name again? <laughs> word, my son. Hey, I think you are the only. Okay, let me put it this I, way. I didn't hear that. Did you hear the word vintage? No, I, I don't. You are those kind of things. <laughs> yeah, I did not hear <laughs> that. We did not hear that. You're the only man with such a great legacy. Um, <laughs> you just said the word legacy. Break his legacy. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only guys who've been doing what you've been doing for long, so long, yet still contributing new, fresh material to the charts and not trading off nostalgia of the past. How do you keep that? On the other hand, we like that question. Please answer it. Uh, is, there, is there a mediator in the band? Is there one person who actually steps in when things are getting a little bit kind of uh, tense? Edge uh, is probably... Well, Adam's making a, a dash for Wise Owl from a very dangerous start, uh, <laughs> trying to set fire to himself. But uh, he's become very wise. Edge, I think... Edge's modesty saves the day a lot, and occasionally when Edge has lost I'm most it, proud of it, <laughs> modesty. Yeah. Occasionally when he's lost it, he will be the guy. I remember him smashing one of his guitars after a particularly bad uh, scene, but he went straight out the door and came back in and said, "I'm sorry about that." <laughs> and, uh, that's, that's the kind of guy. He but also hit me very, very hard. Well, I was going to say, have you ever come to blows? That, that one time. He hasn't, he hasn't pushed me that far since, though. And so, and why did you hit him? But I don't sit too close. Um, <laughs> what, what was the argument? It was actually, it was one of those <clears throat> early gigs. And halfway through the show, Larry's drum kit started falling apart. And he's literally got a set of spanners out, try, trying to fix them. And Bono didn't see what was going on. He, all he knew was that Larry had stopped playing. And he just 
just lost I his counted head. him in, I think is what it was. And it was just all he wasn't boiled there. over. Yeah. Counted him in, one, two, three, four. And, he's, and you look down and there's no drummer. He's down with a sock. He's down yeah, yeah. under there. So I lifted the drum kit up to have a look at what was going on and there was a bit of a proper little row broke out and 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 then I just the edge just caught me with one. Just did you enjoy hitting him? Was it a good feeling at the time? <laughs> <laughs> it must have felt pretty good. I didn't wish it? I could remember. <laughs>